This webinar will teach you how to make, save, and then go back to a saved TitanPad. TitanPad is a great Web 2.0 tool for collaboration, for quick and real-time work, and gauging where your students are in their learning for the day. I have my students also, while watching a video, take notes. I'll put questions on the TitanPad and assign question number one to student A, question number two to student B, or, you know, a couple of kids to question number one, a couple of kids to question number two, and so forth. So to use this, I've gone to TitanPad.com, and you can either make a private space of your own, which is what I have with my kids because I use it so often. So down here, or you don't need to have an account at all. You can just create a public pad. So when you create public pad, this is what it looks like. You'll enter your name up here. And as students log in, they'll get, there'll be a bunch of colored blocks just like this down here and they'll each choose a color and put their name in there. I like to remind my students that their name should be their first name, last initial. If there are two Zachs, I might have Zach T for Zach Thomas and Zach S for Zach Staub if they happen to be in the same class. So there are three main parts to the Titan Pad. The login pane, the chat pane, so this is a live chat, and the collaboration pane. In the chat pane, um, it typically stays pretty much on task because I'm I'm watching what is going on in the Titan Pad, and if they start to go off task, I am able to quickly bring them back in. Um, there is a way to close this, to lock it up at, when you're done, so that the chat does not stay open, because once they have the web address, they could theoretically get to it at any time, but as long as you remember to lock it, then they can't get to it. Okay, so over in my collaboration pane, I'm going to click, so I've got my insertion point blinking, I'm just going to add a little bit of space, and I'm going to do this, um, Pam has asked me to help her figure out how to save, how to open a saved Titan pad, so I'm just going to have this, this little test, so she's going to write me a little note, say Lee, this is my test. Okay, so I've got my Titan Pad. I'm happy with the way it is. I've been working with the students all, all class long or what have you. Now, if I click Saved, it's not really going to do a whole lot except save what I've been doing during the class period. But it will automatically save every once in a while. To save this so that I could open it up, say, in tomorrow's class, I'm going to come up to Import Export. And I'm going to come over to Export Current Pad As. You'll see you've got six choices. I'm going to go with the Microsoft Word, and it's going to prompt me to open this. Now you'll notice it gives it a really bizarre kind of a, a name. So I'm going to open this, and here's my Titan Pad in Word form. Now the only thing that is hard to, to keep the conversation, the chat going, is that it does not save the chat over here. But you could highlight the entire chat, copy and paste it into the Word document, and it will keep all the colors. Um, so that you could keep a permanent record of what's going on. Okay, so this is my Titan Pad. So I'm going to give it a name that will make sense to me. So I'm going to say File Save As. I'm just going to say Pam's Test. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Okay, it saved as Pam's test. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to come back to my Titan Pad. To get rid of this, I'm going to click on Hide. And because I've exported it, I can now close the tab. Okay, so I can then go back to TitanPad.com. It will bring me up to just the regular login screen. I'm going to click on Create Public Pad. And it doesn't really matter to me what this says because what I want to do is I want to bring in the work that we had done in yesterday's class. So I'm going to click on Import or Export. Under the Import side, though, on the left-hand side, I'm going to click Browse. 
on my desktop. I'm going to go find Pam's test, open it, and you'll see it's turned green and it's prompting me to import now. Yes, I want to proceed. I want to write over because I don't care about the Welcome to Titan pad. And then I'm going to hide this. So now I'm going to take out this and I'm going to personalize it for my class. So this is for my sports marketing class um, from class on to 21-12. And just so that it's kind of popped in and not getting in the way of what I'm doing today. I'm just going to kind of bump this in a little bit. And then I'm going to put in kind of this little marker that sections it off. You don't have to do this. It just makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on when. And so today's date is February 22, 2012. I'm going to come back up to my sports marketing. I'm going to make it bold. I can center it. And I might move this down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to make this bold. Okay, so we're going to be watching a video in class today, and I want the students to answer a couple of questions. I have a class of 10 students, so and there are, or there are four questions. So I'm going to assign two students to make sure that, answer, that question number one gets answered, two students for question number two, two students for question number three, two students for question number four, and then the last two students are going to be my cleanup crew. So So Wahoo's Fish Taco is the name of the video. So I'm going to italicize it, and I'm going to bold it just so it kind of sticks out a little bit. So as you watch the video, Wahoo's Fish Taco. Okay, so the whole thing says, as you watch the video, Wahoo's Fish Tacos, please answer the question that you were assigned. If you were assigned to be on the cleanup crew, please ensure that each of the four questions gets answered completely using correct grammar and punctuation. So it's not their job to actually answer it, but if the answer seems a little thin, they might add a little bit more meat to it, or if the grammar is totally off, or if there's no punctuation, they're going to go in and clean that stuff up. So then I could write question number one and whatever the question is. Question number three and last question number four. So whatever it would be. And that's about it. So again, if you want to save this after the day two, you would go back up to import export. Export is Microsoft Word. Rename it the exact same thing maybe or give it today's date. Um, the only thing that I did not talk about is for your students to see this, you would click on share this pad. TitanPad then gives you a URL. I will write this URL up on the board and the students will each go in. Or if it's on my data projector, I will just leave this up so that they can see it. And as they log in, their names will appear over here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks.